We spoke to the curator. They get an average of 11 visitors a day. Anyway, it's a constituency matter. It's nothing to do with you or Whitehall. Why are you so interested in it? Uh, there is a question of principle. Principle? You know, what you used to tell me politics was about. <laughs> what principle? The principle of taking money away from the arts and putting it into things like football. A football club is a commercial operation. There is no cause for subsidising if it runs out of money. Why not? Why not? Yes, why not? There's no difference between subsidising football and subsidising art. Except that a lot more people are interested in football. <laughs> Our cultural heritage has to be preserved. For whom? For people like you, you mean? For the educated middle classes. Why should the rest of the country subsidise the pleasures of the middle class few? Theatre, opera, ballet. <laughs> Subsidising <laughs> art in this country is nothing more than a middle class rip-off. Oh, Minister. How can you say such a thing? Subsidy is about education, preserving the pinnacles of our civilization. Or oh, hadn't you noticed? Don't patronize me, Humphrey. I believe in education too. I'm a graduate of the London School of Economics, may I remind you? <laughs> well, I'm um, glad to learn that even the LSE is not totally opposed to education. <laughs> Nothing wrong with subsidizing sport. Sport is educational. We have sex education too. Should we subsidize sex, perhaps? Oh, could we? <laughs> Let us choose what we subsidise. By the extent of popular demand. There's nothing wrong with that. It's democratic. But, Minister, this is the thin end of the wedge. What would happen to the Royal Opera House on such a basis? The very summit of our cultural achievement. Yes, the Royal Opera House. Very good case in point. And what do they do? Mozart, Wagner, Verdi, Puccini. Germans and Italians. <laughs> Not our culture. <laughs> Why should we subsidise the culture of the Axis powers? <laughs> Our European partners, Minister. The Royal Opera House gets about nine and a half million pounds of public money every year. And for what? The public can't afford 30 pound seats, and if it could, they can't get them. There aren't enough of them. The vast majority of the audience consists almost entirely of big business executives, block booked by the banks and the oil companies and the multinationals and people like you. The Royal Opera House is the establishment of play. Why should the working man on the terraces foot the bill for the gentry in the stalls who could perfectly well afford to pay for their own seats? Menace, I'm quite frankly appalled. This is savagery, barbarism. <laughs> but a minister of the crown should say these things. It's, a, it's, a, it's, the, it's the end of civilization as we know it. <laughs> as well as being a gross distortion of the truth. Distortion, you, eh? Art cannot survive without public subsidy. Did Shakespeare get a public subsidy? And what about films? Films are art, films are educational. Why does the establishment ignore the subsidising of films? Because people like you prefer opera. We should be subsidising modern, relevant art like films that the man in the street sees and enjoys. Precisely. They are commercial. And now, uh, if you will excuse me, I have to go early tonight. I can no longer continue with this appalling discussion. Why, where are you going? Uh, nowhere in particular. Well, I'm sorry. <laughs> we must talk this through. I can't. I have to dress. <laughs> dress? Where are you going? Since you insist, I am going to the Royal Opera House. <laughs> are you really? <laughs> Gala night, is it? Yes, it is, since you ask. Not so permanent secretary's going to be there. <laughs> Some, no doubt. Mm. Off you get, then. Yep. I don't want to make you late for your work's outing. 